Hello. Good morning, and I hope everyone had a good weekend, especially with Gaudete Sunday that we had, so that's a good thing. Let's begin with our gospel reading for today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, Then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For my first Advent reflection that I gave this, this particular Advent, I encourage people to try and reach out to at least three people, especially those who are at home most of the time. And I was able to do this myself, but there were some key people who I wanted to reach out to but I did not end up doing that. So this week can certainly be a fresh start to certainly try this again. With Gaudete Sunday, there is certainly an emphasis on rejoicing during this Advent season. But we also know that for various reasons, this time of year can be a time for grieving and sadness. Today is the feast day of St. John of the Cross, and he is known for his work, Dark Night of the Soul. And this acknowledges that our journey to God can have moments of spiritual dryness or even spiritual crisis. This is a stressful time in our country and in our world right now, and there are many experiencing spiritual dryness and spiritual crises, and they need our prayers and our help. We can continue reaching out and communicating with those in our lives. So this week, let's really try and take this to another level and do small acts of kindness for at least three people. There are so many people in need, and this will help in many ways to help them in ways that perhaps we don't even realize. So let us now ask our Blessed Mother to please help us. A prayer to the Virgin Mary for the protection from the coronavirus. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need, and we are certain that you will provide, so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross, to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. May God bless you all, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day.